Uh, Universal Studios has announced their monster movie universe. What? And so on the tales of all the other studios doing their superhero movies, Universal, you know, with Marvel, the the Warner Brothers, almost everybody seems to have a superhero movie nowadays. There's, like we talked about earlier uh, in shows previous, there are about 40 superhero movies being released by Marvel, Warner Brothers, Fox, and Sony in the next six years. So Marvel, I mean, sorry, Universal was like, yeah, we don't want to miss this train. But we don't have superheroes, so we're going to go with monsters. But... Pretty much, pretty much. So they started their their shared universe, they called it, with Dracula Untold. Now, honestly, I haven't seen the movie yet. Um, I didn't hear good reviews of that one. That's what I'm saying. It, it looked really... cool. It definitely yeah. looked cool from the trailers, but like you didn't see good reviews on that. It was clearly like they showed the best parts. They set up a decent world, but they just fell short in some of the you know the character was good, and then he fell short, and then the the story was good, and then it just falls short. So. Room for improvement, certainly, but not a total flop, it didn't seem like. So, um, the, the, so they started that creating the world with Dracula Untold. Now, they're also saying that they are going to have uh, the other monsters that are going to be in said shared universe are going to be the mummy and uh, Frankenstein's monster. So, in 2016, we're actually getting a mummy movie. Now, I don't believe it's the same type of money, mummy as, uh, like, Brendan Fraser's movies. I think yeah, that's what I was going to ask. Is it that spin-off? Yeah. Did, did did Universal own the rights to that movie? Or that was that was a different. I think that was movie, a Universal also. Studios movie. Was it? Okay. Now I don't think any one studio can own the rights to like the Mummy or Dracula or something. Well, like no, that. but to, to the Mummy TV, like the the those movies was a specific Mummy, but you can't own the rights to like the concept of a Mummy yeah. or the concept of Dracula, really. Uh, although they probably will try to fight for it, especially when we're talking Universal who yeah, well. fought for saying that they own the rights to King Kong. And apparently they didn't. They did. King Kong was a character. A movie well, character. But also, uh, they tried to sue... Okay, hit, fun story. So Universal tried to sue um, Nintendo over Donkey Kong well, because no, they said he's it was on King Kong. Well, yeah, but here's the Kong. thing. Yeah, they did steal Kong. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, well, giant close. monkey that That's... steals woman, right? Um, yeah, that is kind of directly ripping it off Nintendo. That yeah, is... except for, well, apparently they did. They weren't even, the creators weren't necessarily aware. They were actually just trying to put a different skin on a different popular game that they didn't have the rights to. Um, <laughs> so, in attempts to steal something else from someone else, they actually stole from Universal. Yeah, ah. um, but they didn't, because here was the thing. Apparently, Universal didn't own the rights to King Kong. Universal had, in fact, a few years before, claimed that King Kong was in the public domain in order for them to use the rights, because they weren't the original makers of King Kong or whatever it was. Oh, okay. well, they didn't have a... Uh, they they didn't have the rights to King Kong. So their own argument came and bit them in the butt. Right? But that's what I'm saying, like because um, if uh, King Kong was in the public domain, so but they still argued that they owned it, so they might do that with the Mummy. Like, hey, yeah, you can't, do the, but we can own the rights to the, the Mummy. We 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 got it because we did this thing, right? Well, no, they or, are, or they, did the, they did the Mummy, the original ones. They I believe Universal yeah. did do the Brendan Fraser Mummy, so we won't run into that. Oh, and but I one case, of the that's another thing. Why don't they have King Kong? Uh, I don't know. But one other monster that I forgot was actually the Wolfman. He's going to be in there too. Um, um, and now, who, so, owns, uh, who owns Godzilla? I think that's Universal too. They own all those See, monsters. See, if, monster if Universal monsters. owns Godzilla, they really need to get Godzilla. I mean, they're already doing a... Re uh, there's a, um, a remake Godzilla movie coming out. Uh, if Universal has remake. it, they should be putting Godzilla in this universe. Yeah, I, I see. I don't think that would work. You can't bring Godzilla and King Kong into. They already have their own universe with Godzilla and King Kong working on the other side, because um, they were the ones who did that reboot of Godzilla last year, yeah. and um, and they are saying that they're going to do a King Kong reboot and they're going to be bringing in other. Tied all together, like I know that one's like big yeah. uh, monsters, one small monster, but come on, Dracula versus Godzilla. Come yeah, but that no. I don't, I, I don't agree with that. I don't think that would work, man. I just... <laughs> that, you got to have Godzilla fighting other huge, giant monsters. Oh, here's, the th here's what you do. When you have the tie-in, the Avengers equivalent monster movie, they all have to take on Godzilla. Well, see, that would be cool. 
I could see a team of, of like yeah, superpowers. Or if you want to put like Dracula, the Mummy, the Wolfman, and Frankenstein all together to fight Godzilla, I, I, that could work. But they kind of set Godzilla up as a good guy in the last one. Well, so, maybe all these guys are bad guys. They're, they're not setting Dracula up as a completely good guy either. That's He's true. As, as that story went, I don't think he. I think he was like half and half good and bad. Like did bad things for good reasons. Like one of those ends just. Yeah, and that people. leads down a dark path. Yeah, but so <laughs> yeah, and and at said meeting where they started announcing all their other plans for ones, they also said that they were going to take these monsters out of the horror genre and add them into the action adventure genre. So that's interesting. So superhero too. movies. Yeah, they're pretty much going to turn these the Dracula, the Wolfman, Mummy into superheroes. Yeah. Yeah, or I could see like maybe uh you know Dracula and the Wolfman teaming up to fight Frankenstein's monster or to team up to fight the Mummy or you know a couple of those guys team up to fight the other one. That's the only way you can really get a shared universe with these guys, yeah. I think. I mean, um, I can see them being battle each other. But so yeah. Dracula, I think that movie was set around like the, the Middle Ages, like 7 to 1000 AD. Mummy would be like a 3000 BC thing if they show the origin and then they unearth them, I guess. Frankenstein Mummy would be in the like 1800s. And when is the Wolfman? I guess he's around the 1800s too. So... Well, but but uh, Dracula is immortal for the well, most certainly. part. Certainly. And Mummy's immortal for the most part. Um, Wolfmen usually aren't. Uh, Frankenstein, I don't know if he had a... Yeah, he was going to die at some point, kind of, maybe. Uh, well, but I in any case, like you have some time there. Come apart you, can, you can have them being... Several of the characters be like just really old, um, and you can fit it all together. I don't know, we'll see what they do. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be an interesting idea. I do, I do kind of like these shared universes. Marvel's done a spectacular job with it, um, but it hasn't always worked out that way for a lot of companies. Uh, we're going to see what DC is going to do with it. Hopefully they'll bring their shared universe together, kind of like Marvel did, because the source material is there. I'm just curious about the the Dracula. Since the first one already did kind of bad, like, are they going to abandon everything after The Mummy if The Mummy doesn't do well? Uh, are they going to stick through a plan and try to see these all come together? Or are we just going to see this fall apart and Universal is just going to... <laughs> go some other way. I don't know. Hit us up. Let us know what you think. Are you excited to see a shared universe with these monster movies? Let us know. Comments down below. Of course, at Words My Face on Twitter. Words My Face at gmail.com. Google Plus and Facebook. Always good ways of getting a hold of us.